last speaker <coughs> that is uh, Dr. Yun. He will talk about Schwarzian theory and chaos. Thank you for the opportunity uh, to give a talk in Taiwan. Uh, today I will talk about the Schwarzian theory and chaos. Unlike the title, uh, my slide is very simple, so you don't have to worry about the complication and you will be happy. <coughs> So why I study the Schwarzschild theory? Because of universality. So the Schwarzschild theory is given by this Schwarzschild derivative, and one uh, action is given by this uh, just one-dimensional uh, theory. And, uh, and uh, this appear uh, in the SYK like model, for example. SYK uh, model is uh, um, M minor fermion with uh, uh, some relevant coupling constant and uh, in large N theory, uh, in large N limit, uh, there is melonic dominance and uh, etc. And then this theory exhibit the uh, maximal chaos. Also, uh, there is a tensor model. Uh, this is also a fermion and with rank three tensor. And then without any uh, relevant coupling constant, this uh, uh, model is also shown to be maximally. Uh, chaotic. And then the low energy effective action of those models uh, is known to be uh, this Schwarzschild action. Also, uh, recently there are a lot of study in the uh, JT gravity, JQT type point uh, gravity on the nearly ADS2 space. And then this uh, uh, ADS2 is uh, to, uh, topological, as you know, so only a uh, physical theory of freedom live on the boundary. So you can, uh, this is exactly by this boundary curve. So the action of the, this boundary theory uh, freedom is also known to be given by this uh, Schwarzschild theory. So in this case, uh, this phi, in the quantum mechanical case, this phi is correspond to the, this Goldstone boson. And uh, to the Dilaton gravity case, this uh, phi corresponds in boundary uh, gravity form. And also people found that uh, this worst theory, the worst theory, uh, the effective action is also given by uh, Schwarzschild. However, I have to, uh, uh, frankly speaking, I have to say that the universality is that, uh, uh, I, this is universally appear in the theory which I'm interested in. Of course, if you go to the, this other higher level <laughs> theory, you cannot see this Schwarzschild theory. So this universality, this quotation mark, means that only appear in the chaotic model that I'm interested in. But the, as a teaser of the, my last slide is that uh, uh, it would be very interesting to see the higher, what is the, the analogy of the higher dimension under them. So anyway, so keep in mind that universality is not the net universal. And then, so, so we are, uh, this is a highly nonlinear action, so we have to do the what, uh, what you have to do is uh, some, you need a uh, uh, large, uh, see, uh, large some, uh, you have to do the perturbation. However, before going to the perturbation, uh, we have to include uh, this measure. So this is, uh, uh, when you consider the path integral, usually you don't consider include the path integral. Some, some case you have to really include the, this measure for your matrix like a model. So it turns out that it is very uh, important to include some measure, which is fixed by, uh, there are many ways. Uh, from the 2D, 2D case, uh, it also naturally appears when you get fixed, or in the, uh, uh, in the quantum, from the quantum, uh, uh, effective action uh, language, uh, it's natural to have this measure from, starting from the user, it's a long story, but, uh, <coughs> Uh, there is many ways to justify this measure. And then you can ex exponentiate this measure to the action by using the introducing the formula. So phi is the usual Schwarzschild field, and the psi is the formula. So this is more like a, it looks like a super symmetric -like version. And uh, later, next slide, I will show that why it's important. And uh, as I promised that uh, you can, this is highly nonlinear, so the only way we can solve is large, some large, uh, some perturbation. So here, I, uh, G, this G is uh, some coupling constant, so I uh, uh, expand in small G expansion, or this 
bar C expansion, which is the one over C, uh, one over C square. And uh, I uh, expand uh, this uh, uh, Schwarzian mode around uh, this saddle. This is a saddle uh, solution. And uh, this is fluctuation. And uh, this is very simple. If you build uh, this uh, gradient course, uh, they will perfectly. Uh, can, uh, this is kind of a homework problem. And uh, you can do the proper uh, expand in G. And then next, uh, what you can do is uh, you can read off, uh, you can from the quadratic action, you can read off the propagator. This actual is the uh, fluctuation of the short term mode, so that uh, this gives uh, this uh, free uh, propagator of the sh short term mode. And then you can also read off the uh, proper free propagator of the Fermi mode, which come from the measure. And the cubic, you can from the cubic action, you can also observe the, uh, you can find uh, this cubic action and uh, the, uh, with the fermion cubic action. And the vertex, from the vertex, the all the, you can find all the, this uh, vertex. Interesting part of the, this uh, uh, calculation is that uh, when, uh, usually when you to calculate uh, this Feynman diagram, in particular loop diagram, you have a lot of divergence. Oh, and then the, one of the, the uh, uh, Important in the QFT is that you have to regularize. Um, so you have you enter the dimension, dimensional regularization or many other methods. But in this case, because of the measure, this divergence, so there is a divergence, but uh, this divergence is exactly cancel with the divergence made by this fermion group. So bosonic group is can the divergence cancel exactly like the supersymmetry they cancel and they give a finite answer. So this calculation, you don't need any like a regularization, and uh, this is give the exact answer. And uh, so, uh, in principle, you can calculate anything. Uh, for example, free energy, you can show that uh, it's uh, exact one loop exact, which means that you can calculate the uh, 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 leading flash card contribution, and the one loop contribution is uh, you can exactly calculate, and the uh, higher loop correction or cancel. And also, you can calculate the four point function. In particular, uh, from this uh, Feynman uh, 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 diameter and calculation, I can calculate the Lyapunov exponent. So let me uh, briefly introduce what uh, the Lyapunov exponent. And uh, uh, usually, uh, people talk about the when they, people talk about the chaos, it means uh, butterfly effect, which means that uh, some sensitivity of the system to the initial condition. So if you have some small uh, difference of the initial condition in the chaotic system, it becomes exponentially a later time. At time t, the uh, difference would, would be exponentially grow. So this can be quantified by this, uh, 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 this derivative, and uh, this grows exponentially. This is a kind of classical uh, description. And uh, in the quantum version, I can change this uh, Poisson bracket into the commutator and uh, take a square and uh, uh, evaluate uh, the summer expectation value. When, and then when you expect, expand this commutator scale, <coughs> square and uh, you have two terms, in particular this exponential growth captured by uh, this term. This is not the time order one. If you see that here, t0, t0, it, it's not time order creator. So we call it uh, it's, uh, out. Uh, we call it uh, it's an out of time of the correlator. So in chaotic system, this out of time of correlator uh, behavior like this early time it would become a constant. Constant means that I do the proper normalization by two point function, so that uh, early time is constant. But uh, there is a whatever n this connected part it will be growing exponentially. This is what I mean uh, in the real time uh, correlator. And then this uh, exponent, uh, is this exponent called the Lyapunov exponent, and uh, this uh, time when the, this uh, two term, the leading and the second order, uh, this correction becomes same mm -hmm. order, is called uh, 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 the time that they are same order is uh, scrambling time. And the Marta Senna, Schenker, and Stanford uh, found that this Lyapunov exponent is bounded by two, 2 pi over beta. So this, when we say maximally chaotic model, is that uh, 
uh, model which is set to uh, this, uh, saturate uh, this bond. So the reaction is pointed to the file vector. So for example, the record is uh, going to be maximally chaotic and the uh, SYK model and et cetera also saturated one. So how to calculate this out of time operator? So uh, here uh, in the SYK model, this, uh, did, I will calculate the four point function basically. So there will be four external operator in SYK model. This will correspond to the, this minor fermion. And uh, in the 2D graph point of view, this would be some metal field. And the reading part would be disconnected, uh, uh, disconnected point, just two point function. And usually, in the, I take, uh, I consider that this uh, larger declaration. And then next, uh, uh, next contribution would be uh, uh, this metal correlation function or Majorana uh, correlator is mediated by this uh, uh, Schwarzschild mode, or you can think of the graviton, uh, uh, graviton mediated by this uh, metal correlator. And then if you're using the, this uh, uh, Schwarzschild theory, you can calculate uh, this one exactly. And uh, this is uh, approximately, uh, you can see that this is exponential growth with the maximum reactance <coughs> moment. And then you can ask, uh, what's the next correction? And then uh, you can calculate the root diagram, all the, this, uh, uh, the next uh, correction, whatever C square, the order uh, is uh, represented by this five uh, final diagram. And usually, you can, it's very difficult to calculate the uh, uh, graviton loop calculation. But uh, this short jump case, uh, because of the we know measure, and they give the exact finite answer. And uh, in particular, uh, it, when you calculate uh, this, uh, get, uh, this uh, exact uh, uh, answer, then uh, you can ask how this Lyapunov exponent is shifted by this uh, next correction. It turns out that this four, uh, three diagram play your own with increase of the reaction exponent. And uh, these two, uh, three graviton uh, scattering, uh, is uh, no, uh, play your of the slow down the exponential, which means that decrease the reaction exponent. So in total, the reaction exponent, it turns out that the reaction exponent is decreased. If you sum up nicely all the, the uh, <coughs> Uh, this some term which increase the reactant exponent is cancel, and then it, in the end uh, it will reactant exponent is uh, does not violate the chaos bound. So, or but uh, if you include uh, some part of the Feynman diagram, for example, if you include uh, this one, without this one, then you can see that this is the plot of the reactant exponent in time. So this is uh, that line it corresponds to the maximum value. So if you include uh, all of them correctly, then uh, it never violates chaos form, but uh, if you include a part of it just by mistake, then it, it can see that it violates chaos form immediately. This is maximum value, and uh, this is the whole of the maximum value. So, it, uh, so what uh, in, in our uh, the results show that uh, uh, even the next correction, uh, the the Lyapunov exponent. Uh, the bound of chaos is still formed. But uh, actually, uh, I don't have enough time to explain. I did some cheat. Because uh, uh, here, uh, this next correction is very important near the scrambling time. But uh, in the near the scrambling time, that the next correction is also important. You have to include all of them. So anyway, I, I, if, you are, if you are interested, I will discuss uh, personally. But uh, there is some caveat. And then the, you can ask, uh, is there any other like a non, non maximal KOT model? So yes, there is. So basically, this first term corresponds to usual SYK model <coughs> for the for, uh, interaction with the Majorana formula with the random coupling constant. And the, the next, uh, uh, the, each, the simplest action, interaction would be quadratic action. With this is also random coupling constant, uh, and uh, it. It's known that this one, this first term, SYK, leads to the chaotic phase. The second term leads to the integrable phase. What I mean is, uh, of course, you add a random mass term. It's, uh, you can solve it. It's very simple with that. So you can I imagine that it's, it cannot be the chaotic. But if you put together, and if you tune the, this kappa parameter, you can tune between the chaotic phase to the integral phase. And in this model, if you calculate the reaction exponent, 
So this x line is a, a coupling constant, and the y axis is the reaction response. So one is the benchmark. So uh, small coupling constant, uh, small coupling constant case always this is a uh, weakly coupling case is non-chaotic. So the chaos appears the strong coupling limit. And then when kappa equals zero, it goes to the this maximal reaction response. But the, as kappa increases, it, it just the reaction response goes to zero. So this uh, reaction response shows the, this uh, phase transition between them. Also, uh, I didn't uh, talk this uh, discuss detail of the the another definition of chaos, but. Uh, Another, uh, usually people, when people talk about the chaos is uh, some random metric behavior. So spectrum is uh, how spectrum, clo how close the spectrum to the, uh, is the spectrum to the, this random metric, uh, 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 random matrix uh, uh, distribution. So uh, one of the uh, measurement of the random metric behavior is R parameter. Basically, it's uh, measure the ratio of the uh, level spacing. So this plus show that for kappa equals zero, it's close to the GUE, some Gaussian unitary ensemble of them, uh, some some one of the ensemble of the random matrix. And then it flows to the uh, uh, as, as kappa increases, it flows to the Poisson, which is uh, integral. So for such a model, uh, uh, for this case, you can ask what is uh, low energy effective action. So for low energy effective action, the, you can write, uh, one way to write down the, uh, get the effective action is you, you can uh, write down the all possible term which respect to symmetry. For example, if you reparameterize symmetry of the SYK model, or you can imagine the 2D uh, conformal symmetry is broken to SL2, SL2 then you can write down short jump. But uh, in, uh, in this case, uh, the reparameterization is not broken the SL2, but the uh, U1. So uh, you can also allow to write down the, this extra term. And then you can take the reaction response. And uh, this uh, reaction response is uh, a function of this V0. V0 is defined by it this way. And then it turns out that uh, when depending on the V0, Reaction uh, when V0 is greater than minus C over 24, then, then uh, chaos bound is cold. In particular, when V0 uh, is this value, it's a maximum chaos. But uh, the other case, when V0 uh, is lower than this one, then the reaction is formed by the chaos bound. And uh, it's exactly matched with the uh, stability condition found by Witten. Uh, in when he studied the uh, stability, con uh, stability of the this quotient orbit of the uh, deeper origin of the on SO1 module. Uh, Sorry, how do we say relation between the uh, Yakon spawner and the random matrix? How do we say relation between the uh, Yakon of the spawner and the random matrix? Ah, this is uh, a very good question, but uh, it's uh, not known exactly because uh, <coughs> the Yakon is the important uh, be before uh, this present time, which is uh, kind of uh, small relatively uh, short time scale. But the uh, random matrix is uh, important that kind of universality random matrix appear in the very long time. Yeah. So it's just, there must be some relation, but the- uh, That's a, so I think it's a, okay. Because the Swazen series is integral model, so I, I can expect that you can see random matrix. So this is why I this question. So I think they are taking yeah. any version. Ah. I'm talking about uh, this, uh, uh, you mean this... Uh, because for the series, it has a larger limit as a subjective series, so it should be integral. Should so be it should not be integral. Uh, of course. It depends on what do you mean by integral. Integral because uh, this theory can be due to the uh, open total theory. This open total theory has a, uh, uh, a, a non-conserved charge compression with the physical degree of freedom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a sh shiri integral, so you, should, you cannot see it. You mean it. this is correspond to the, in this case, this correspond to the new build. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but uh, uh, this sounds like, uh, I mean, the, no, I, I can't discuss more, but uh, this is not usual, this integral model of the new build. But uh, yeah. <coughs> so, and, yeah, uh, I run up already uh, use of time, <coughs> but uh, this is, 
uh, is my future work. Uh, so there is uh, already people found uh, some uh, uh, correlation function of the Schwarzschild theory to the six J chamber at zero temperature, but the uh, at finite temperature also the calculation that I found uh, uh, might be helpful to uh, relation to the six J chamber at finite temperature. Also, it's an interesting generalized uh, W three algebra case, and uh, also as I mentioned, the higher uh, higher dimensional generalization will be very interesting. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Any question? Yeah, I'm talking about um, computation. What's your argument? Divergence always cancel if you go to very high level. Uh, so, first of all, uh, free energy case. Yes, uh, one can show that uh, there is a uh, uh, shown by uh, 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 witness temple, and then there is you can using the this localization and uh, uh, all the higher loop calculate uh, correction is canceled. And this is for the uh, free energy case. But the correlation function case, it's not guaranteed. So I just calculate the one by one every time. So I don't know, uh, I don't, for now, I don't have uh, any uh, proof for the higher loop. But the up to uh, one loop, I can easily show that uh, it, uh, for the divergent cancel. And uh, because it's hard, to, I, the reason why I cannot tell you the, this proof is that uh, unlike uh, free, free energy, I cannot use uh, this uh, localization technique for, for the chain function. So I don't know, but uh, it looks like uh, all the divergence cancel. Any other questions? Okay, yeah, thank you the speaker again. So uh, we have a banquet for speakers. So uh, the idea is to go at 6 o'clock, which is now at 6 o'clock.